Hey everybody, you know, it's Fred, Hitchman here. You know I travel a bunch, and even when I don't travel, I like to see the good in people and see people happy. You know, I, I yearn to, you know, find my somebody that I could live out my years with, just like these cute people here. They were at this nice little place that I was eating at in uh, Minnesota, and uh, I saw her trying to get up and I saw her man there tried to assist and you know me I jumped out of my chair just to make sure both of them don't fall down on top of each other and look like they're needing a room at the hotel beside me but anyway you know it's a little fun but anyway I got to talk to them a little bit once they got up and you know make sure each other was okay you know where you go walk out to the car and uh, I asked them I said you, you young people just look like you're on a date they said well funny you should say that they were boyfriend, girlfriend, little things, and, you know, 10 and 11 years old. And, you know, they they got married to different people. And the lady there, she, uh, I think she was married about 50 years. And uh, her husband died, and he was married as well for nearly that time frame. And she died nearly not far apart from each other, other spouses. And uh, lo and behold, he writes a letter to her as a condolence letter, you know, wishing her well. They meet not long after, after all those years, and got married. It's amazing how paths can cross. You, 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 friends and become lovers later. It's just so nice to drive around this country and see people holding hands, see people you know, not letting one person or your family blame one person for a family's demise. And, you know, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's rough to, uh, to experience, you know, going from married to somebody dying or married to not being married anymore after a lot of years like I was, but you know, it's, a uh, it's just nice to see the happiness of other people. And you've seen the other pictures maybe I posted about people walking into grocery stores holding hands. And, you know, it's nice. It's just nice to see people be nice and love each other for who they are. You know, no, no complaining, no bitching, no stuff going on. It's just these few, these two people walked out to their car with me and, you know, they got my apple butter and all that neat stuff. I had a little fun with them with moonshine jelly and she took the moonshine jelly. She said, oh yeah, I'll, I'll use this later. So uh, it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. But anyway, just be thankful who you have. Love on who you have. Maybe crank up something that has been lost for a little while. You know, maybe you don't do something a certain person liked a long time ago, and it's kind of surprising with that again. You know, don't uh, don't look at an argument as a, an accusatory, you know, defamation. You know, look at it as an opportunity to maybe start something else happier. I don't know. I'm no expert or I wouldn't be sitting here alone. So anyway, you know, y'all be, y'all be nice to somebody today. Be happy for somebody else at another table, you know, uh, buy, buy a veteran a beer or something, buy, do, do something for somebody today. That's going to benefit them. Just like this couple benefited me just by talking to them and hearing their story and they love sharing it. It's a, it's a love story that you will never hear again, unless you ask who you're seeing in front of you. So just love somebody, be nice to somebody, and just be, just be happy with what you uh, have in your life now because you never know. It may not be there again. But uh, Bella and I are taking a day off, you know, I, I, and uh, we're, we're going to make it back down and get another one to come straight back where I'm at now. So y'all pray for us. I had a little experience at the hospital yesterday. So uh, thanks anyway for everything, and be blessed. Have a wonderful day.